It's a big day, guys. See what's behind me? The diamond. We are headed to an undisclosed, highly top secret location to maiden the diamond today. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get going to New Mexico. Uh, we've got about a 4,000 kilometer mile journey. Let's go. All right, guys, we are getting ready for the maiden. So we've got a list of things that we need to do. Uh, the plane's been obviously mostly assembled. We've got, we're gonna do a double check on our CFG. That's what the, uh, the string is for. We've got uh, two little things underneath the plane. So we're gonna do our final CFG check. I, I've kind of got a list of things to do that I keep on a piece of tape on the plane. So we've got to do our CFG check. We're gonna do a run up on the engine. We'll do some taxi tests and we'll do a range check obviously as well too. Now when you do range checks, I like to do them with the engine running. And I think that's important because there could be interference caused by the engine. So I'm gonna go through all that stuff. It's also for me, it's been about four months since I've actually flown other than the simulator. So it, uh, it's almost the, well it is the first flights of the season as well too. So we've got a lot of little things to cover. But uh, number one, we're gonna do our CFG check. So we're gonna put the nose on, the uh, canopy on, and we'll see how things balance out. We should be a little bit nose heavy because we changed the battery in the nose and I've got a little piece of tape right there. So we need to remove 71 grams. So that's how much heavier the battery was compared to uh, the old battery that was in there. All right, guys, we're gonna check CFG now. All right guys, so first flight or first fuel up here, we are putting fuel into the plane and we are not doing a flight now. We're just getting things ready to do ground handling tests and we will do a range check as well too. So we don't need to fill the tanks all the way. We'll fill them about halfway, you can see them there. And uh, so we've assembled the plane, gone over everything. We've got our wing bolts in place, gear works, batteries are all connected. And uh, so we're gonna do a turbine run up and all of our other checks. All right guys, so we've got fuel in the plane. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our startup check. And uh, once the startup's good, then we're gonna do a little bit of taxi runs on the plane. And uh, if everything checks out good, then we are basically ready to do the maiden. So uh, the other thing obviously we're doing is a range check as well too. We're gonna do the range check with the engine running. That's an important thing. I see quite a few guys that do it without the engine running. Totally your choice, but my suggestion is have the engine running when you do your range check. Um, so let's start this thing up and see how this beautiful Swewin turbine starts up. like it should. That's what I, I was just thinking that, Jonathan. That was nice. Jealous. The last time it ran, it was minus 22 degrees outside, and today it's plus 15-ish, so.
doing at this point is basically checking the tracking with the front nose steering in both directions because you could have a little bit of side wind pushing the tail, checking the brakes, and that's basically what we're doing at this point. checks. All right guys, so maiden voyage now, we're ready. So once, we're, once we start the airplane up, we'll do our checks with our surface directions. And basically the very first flight, all we're gonna be doing is taking it easy and having a boring flight, which is how they should generally go. Uh, we're gonna take it up. I'll talk through the entire flight with my other setup here, and hopefully you guys get something out of this. <laughs> forward. We're at full throttle right now. I'm bringing the throttle back down to about half. So first thing we're going to do is trim it out. and high some back elevator added just follow it with the the head of the camera don't look in the viewfinder. So still trimming, a little bit more back elevator. Something 
fun and do a loop. Okay, so we're still adding back elevator and we're probably doing that because we're a little bit nose heavy, just a touch. We're keeping it about half stick the entire flight here. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly add a little bit of gyro. So I added a little bit of gyro gain to it just to see how it reacts. And she's a bit more locked in. We're windy today, but it's a nice wind right down the runway. Okay, so we got two minutes left on the timer. The time from gear up was set at six minutes, counting down. So I like to keep my maiden short, just so you're obviously getting used to the amount of fuel we're using. So we'll just start lining up to the runway doing some runway passes, and then pretty soon we're gonna do gear down, flaps, and see how she feels. Okay, so we're gonna drop the gear now. Gear down, flaps up. I do have a speed indicator on my radio, but I don't uh, know if it's on my right screen, so. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to half flap. And see how things change. If anything, on this aircraft, it's not supposed to change on half flap or full flap. So there's mid flaps. our one minute countdown so we're gonna go full flaps we'll let her come down nicely There we go. So that's the maiden flight. I lost uh, my elevator control, and the reason for that is probably our nose heavy scenario. So I am going to end up taking that weight out which is going to help our elevator control and help our trim as well. Look at those lights. Thanks, Sal from Sky Candy. Those lights are amazing. Good, eh? <laughs> I hope so. We'll see.
All right, guys, so that was the Maiden. Um, what I like to do for my first 20-ish flights is you should be changing something every single flight. So what I'm gonna change on this flight is I'm going to take that additional 71 grams of nose weight out. That's gonna to help to get our elevator control back. Um, I did have no, I was full on my stick on landing there. Uh, I was going fairly slow and it's fairly windy, but uh, that means it's also nose heavy as well. So basically that's uh, the first thing we're gonna change. As soon as I pull that nose weight out, it's probably going to affect my trim as well. So I'm gonna to have to counteract what I did during that flight and once that's kind of set in probably on flight number three which may not happen today is we have to reprogram our gyro as well too so um so that's the flight guys thanks for watching thanks to all the sponsors that made this aircraft happen i appreciate all you guys for helping out the channel and thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video